Safari is your window to the world on your iPhone and iPad. The ubiquitous iOS internet browser is great, but if it stops working, then you need to be ready with some solutions. Here are most fixes for when Safari stops working for you. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to fix Safari not working on iPhone and iPad. Although iPhones and iPads support other apps to reach the web, Safari remains the most favoured and frequently used browser for iOS users. Troubleshooting on Safari can be frustrating, especially if its issues prevent you from searching for a solution online. Here are a few common reasons why Safari may not be working on your iPhone and how to fix the problems. Safari won't load a page. If Safari fails to load a website or loads a blank page, it may be because of a network error or poor network connection. Try disabling experimental features. You may not know about this, but Safari for the iPhone has a whole load of experimental features that you can disable and enable as you please. The problem with these, as the name suggests, is that they are indeed experimental and subsequently don't all work properly. Disabling them one by one can fix Safari if it's not working and can help you discover which exact feature was causing the problem. On your phone, go to Settings, Safari, Advanced, Experimental Features. If you have more than one feature enabled here, disable just one and then check to see if Safari works normally again. If it doesn't, re-enable that feature if you want it and disable the next one along. Keep repeating this procedure until hopefully Safari starts working again. Change your network settings. Try resetting your Wi-Fi connection and reconnecting to the network. Go to Settings, Wi-Fi and turn it off and then turn it back on again after a few seconds. If you're using mobile data, Go to settings, cellular or mobile data, depending on your country, and turn the cellular or mobile data off and back on again after a few seconds. If neither option works, go to settings, Wi-Fi, connect to a different Wi-Fi network and try loading the web page again. If the problem persists, try restoring your network settings to their original configuration. Go to settings, general, reset, and choose reset network settings. Safari crashed and won't open. If you've ever panicked after Safari closed unexpectedly and couldn't get the app to start, you probably encountered a bug that affects Safari's search engine suggestions. This issue can cause the app to crash, freeze, or fail to start altogether. Although the bug usually plagues devices running iOS 10, it can affect just about any iPhone or iPad. Here's how to fix it. Disable search engine suggestions. Go to Settings and choose Safari in your list of apps. Find Search Engine Suggestions and turn it off. This feature offers suggestions for what you can search for as you type into Safari search bar. Disabling it gets rid of the problem for many users. Safari is grey and won't open. Apps turning grey when you tap on them or appearing grey when you turn on your phone is a widespread issue for many iPhone users who make the switch to iOS 12. If you encounter the bug, Safari may stop working when you navigate to another app while it's open and the icon may appear grey. And here's how to fix it. Update your software. To solve this problem, update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS. Apple includes important bug fixes in each software update, obviously, so it's important to keep your iPhone or iPad up to date iOS 11.1 fixed this bug for most users, so be sure to update to 11.1 or greater if you're running an older version of the iOS. Go to Settings, General, choose Software Update, and install the latest update. Safari is slow. As powerful as your iPhone can be, it can get bogged down with all the extraneous information that it processes. If you notice that Safari takes longer to load pages or graphics, it may be time to do some housekeeping. Try cleaning your browser history, website data and cache to make Safari run more smoothly. Here's how to fix it. Clear your data. To delete your cookies, cache and browsing history, go to Settings, Safari. Choose Clear History and Data. Safari will remember your autofill information if you choose this option. To keep your browsing history but clear your cache and cookies, go to Settings, Safari, Advanced and choose Website Data, Remove All Website Data, and tap the Remove Now button. Note that Safari will not remember your autofill information if you choose this option. To remove only a portion of your browsing history, cache and cookies, of course, you can open Safari and tap the bookmark icon, open your history, and then tap Clear. 
Safari will give you the option to clear your history, cookies and browsing data from the past hour, the past day, the past 48 hours, or from your entire history. Safari still isn't working. Although it sounds like a cliche, turning your phone off and on again can be the solution to any number of Safari-related issues. Here's how to do it. Restart Safari or reboot your phone. If none of the previous fixes help solve your problem, try restarting the app or rebooting your phone. Double tap the home button for multitasking. Swipe up to force the app to close. For iPhone 10 users, swipe up from the bottom of the screen and press on the screen when your finger is near the center to open multitasking view and then swipe up on Safari to close it. To shut down your phone, of course, press and hold the sleep wake button until a slider appears. Slide to the right to power off your phone. For iPhone 10 users, press and hold the side button and one of the volume buttons until the slider appears. Then slide it to the right to power off your phone. Native iOS apps like Safari are generally very stable, so bugs and crashes are in fact rare. If Safari still takes a while to load web pages, reach out to your internet or cellular service provider to see if something is affecting your connection speed. If you still have trouble loading a specific page, try contacting the website's administrator to see if it's a server issue. If Safari keeps crashing or won't open, contact Apple support directly for further assistance and technical support, of course. Okay, as always, Thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.